weather from where you live. Well, you're looking at how much rainfall has come down today. Notice this little track here from Remington up through parts of Jasper County, all the way down into Benton, parts of Warren County. We had a little shower formed near I-74, moved to the northeast in the afternoon, and a few more showers here in Illinois. This little shower near Hoopston is getting ever closer, and you can see that right now on Precision Radar. Notice, again, no lightning to speak of, but a few showers around. If we go to the current radar with Precision, let me do something really quickly here. My computer is stuck, actually. There we go. Now we're in good shape. Sometimes I just got to click a couple buttons over there. There's a little shower near Hoopston. This is moving northeastward. This will affect western uh, Newton County here over the next hour or two. And there's that little shower that went through Remington just a little bit earlier. So as we get into these evening hours, any scattered shower or thunder shower most likely would be over the western half of our viewing area, as you see these moving due northward, they are tropical in origin. High pressures here on the periphery of it. We got a few of these scattered showers. The thing is, though, with this little tropical wave, little tropical area, low pressure here, high pressure is going to push everything westward tomorrow. So we shouldn't see any rain tomorrow. We should be in good shape. But another wave near Florida will just pull more moisture up into our area ahead of a cold front. That'll bring showers and storms by Thursday. And finally, this is Category 4 Hurricane Earl near Puerto Rico. This could very well affect parts of the east uh, coast of the U.S. It may skim by North Carolina, parts of New Jersey, New York, and Maine later on in the week, and that will affect our weather. We'll talk more about that coming up. But in the meantime, temperatures warm today, running in the upper 80s largely now, to even 92 at Burlington. And we're headed for overnight lows largely in the mid-60s, a couple upper 60s here off to the west. Highs tomorrow, another hot day, no rain tomorrow. Low to mid-90s will be capped, sunshine, a few clouds bubbling up in the heating of the day. So any isolated thunder shower chance will be confined to these evening hours. Tomorrow will be totally dry. Totally dry tomorrow night, lows mid to upper 60s. Now, it will stay dry until perhaps very, very late on Wednesday. Notice on future cast, we're fine tonight. We're dry. We are dry tomorrow. Any scattered shower and storm potential will arrive as we get into late week. Early scattered thunder showers, otherwise clearing. A few fog patches and 66 tonight. Sunshine, a few clouds bubbling up tomorrow. 94 for the high temperature. Again, a couple scattered storms later on Wednesday, but as the front approaches, our storm chances increase on Thursday. Hurricane Earl may back that front up, stall it a little bit, so we may keep some rain going on into Friday as well at 84 for the high temperature. And finally, over the weekend, highs in the low to mid 80s, overnight lows right around 50 degrees, Jeff. Well, Bertha's acting up.